So here is my quarter inch drill bit, and you can see it's a larger diameter than the bit that's currently mounted in the machine. So I need to remove this drill bit. To remove this, I'm simply gonna grab this black upper ring and this black lower ring, and I'm gonna spin the lower ring to my left. And when I do that, what I'm doing is I'm opening up the jaws, and this is going to drop that drill bit out. Now, before I do anything else, I wanna take the, the old drill bit, and I wanna put it back into the drill index where it belongs, so it's there for the next person. Next, I'm gonna take my quarter inch drill bit, and I need to mount it up in between the jaws of the drill press. Because it's larger, it doesn't fit. So I need to rotate this lower ring to the left to open up those jaws until the drill bit fits up inside. Using my left hand, I'm gonna hold the bit gently. Using my right hand, I'm gonna spin this bottom ring back to the right. And now, I can feel tension on it. It's holding the drill bit. But in order to be locked, I now have to grab the bottom ring and the top ring again, and this time I'm gonna turn the bottom ring to the right as tight as I can get it, and that locks the jaws around this drill bit so I'm ready to drill my hole. At the back of the table, we have adjustments here for raising and lowering the table of the machine. So on the left side is a handle right here. And this is the locking handle for the table adjusting mechanism. So I'm gonna rotate this counterclockwise to loosen it. And now you can see that I can rotate the table. And now using the hand crank on the right side, I can easily raise or lower the table to the height that I need. Once I've got it adjusted where I would like it, I'm gonna spin this so you can see better. Once I've got it adjusted where I would like it, I can use this locking handle, turning it clockwise now, to lock the table into position. And now this table is locked and I'm ready to drill my hole. There are many situations, depending on the drill bit you're using or the material that you're drilling through, that you need to adjust either the height or the rotation of the table. So being familiar with these adjustments is very important for you. The next adjustment we need to make is to the depth stop. So, with my backer material on my table, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the spindle down until my drill bit hits my backer material. And I'm gonna hold it tight right there. Now what I need to do is I need to lower the upper stop down to the black bracket. So I can either spin this and it will slowly lower down, or I can push the quick release button right here, and now I can just slide it down. Now, the depth stop is set. What this does is it guarantees that I'm gonna drill all the way through my workpiece into my backer material, but it also guarantees that I'm not going to drill down into the tabletop. You can see here, now that I have uh, taken the time to adjust the depth stop, that when I lower the spindle on the drill press, it stops right here, just below the surface of my backer material, but above the table. Correctly adjusting the depth stop will prevent you from drilling into the table, which could either damage the table or damage the drill bits. I have this piece of backer material here. 
This is simply a scrap piece of plywood that we are not concerned about. We are always going to use a piece of backer material when we're at the drill press because it does two things. The first thing that it does is it helps protect our table. We want a buffer zone between our workpiece and the table surface. Otherwise, when we drill through our workpiece and come out the bottom of our workpiece, we're going to immediately hit the table. And we don't want to do that. So we use a backer piece. The second thing that the backer material does is it supports the underside of our workpiece. Wood is a fibrous material. So as this drill bit tries to push through the fibers on the back of your workpiece, if it's not supported by something, you're going to get a lot of tear out and you're going to get a, a hole that's not clean. So by using a piece of backer material and holding our workpiece on top of that, when the drill bit comes through the bottom of our workpiece, it will be supported and give us a much cleaner and more accurate cut. 